Hi guys. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Geek by Heart. I'm Jay. And I am Lainey. Beautiful Lainey. Yeah. My yeah. husband Jay. Yeah. Anyway, so, anyway, so uh, what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about Venom. Yes. Venom, Venom, Venom. Uh, man, I was hoping to see so much of Venom, but... I was hoping to see head bites and... Yeah, well, unfortunately, yeah, it happened, but of course it's at uh, the PG-13 movie, so... Why PG-13? We'll talk about that later. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about, so here we go. <laughs> Hello. Okay, how are you guys doing? So, uh, Venom now. Venom, it stars uh, Tom Hardy. Mm hmm And... Uh, Michelle Williams. Michelle Williams and, and Riz Ahmed. Mm hmm and, uh, Yeah. And, of course, the movie was directed by, I think, um, what's his name? Uh, Ruben Fleischer? Fleischer? Yeah, Ruben. Yeah, Ruben. I think he did um, Zombieland. I like Zombieland. Yeah, it's... I, I, we talked about this the other day. I like Zombieland, but we're not going to talk about that because it's another review. Okay, so uh, Venom. Venom, Venom, Venom. I was hoping to see so so much about it in terms of like the action, the, the backstory, and it, it, it just wasn't, it just wasn't kicking. I, I was hoping to see just Venom fleshing the fuck out to everybody in kicking ass and just man. I was hoping to see that why it was not rated R I, I have no idea that I, was such a what? wasted I, you know wasted what? opportunity the whole movie was basically a, a you know a, a spacecraft that was um that was sponsored by, mm -hmm. by uh, Riz Ahmed's character um, character yeah yeah he um I, I think they went on the space mission whole spacecraft crashed mm -hmm. and it had these these elements these um these elements from space it's called symbiotes mm -hmm. riz the riz hamed dude character he's like this millionaire and he's trying to use the symbiotes as a as some sort of um you know like a second human like a humanoid um, superhuman type thing to father regions, regions of, of, of space. space. So, okay, so, he so, he wanted to venture out like Star yeah. Trek. Yeah, so he wanted. So he's basically using like these um like these homeless people, mm -hmm. these crackhead people, um you know just. <laughs> I'm mad the way you said that. <laughs> drug addicts, drug addicts, and you know he was doing so much with them, and it's you know they, apparently the, the symbiote wasn't wasn't cooperating with their body so they you know he was killing them and all of that you know, long so. story short the symbiotes came in and they're trying to figure out what they're all about mm. and somehow eddie brock gets to them and the symbiote actually gets with eddie brock and becomes venom mm. and somehow another symbiote gets with uh rise ahmed's character and, and becomes right, right, well right, not carnage right, right, right there right. we go because mm. carnage was at the end exactly uh, oh yeah spoiler alert. um and they fight and yeah boom that's it no. And of course, we're gonna mm -hmm. tell you our good geek, bad geek about it, cause uh, uh, yeah, agreed. They just uh, uh, uh. yeah. So um, you know, I'm 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 a I'm a big comic book freak, you know, and um, I love Spider Man, and you know, I was hoping for somewhere within the balances of having. Um, uh, Venom movie, you probably might have some hint of Spider-Man, which it, it didn't happen. Nah, I knew that so, wasn't happening. Yeah, okay. so I mean, which is that's fairly well, but you know, I was hoping to see something of the sort so that they, understandably, know that they're in the same universe. Mm. But um, okay, where my bad geek, good geek about this is quite crazy. My first bad geek, the Venom just didn't seem organic with Tom Hardy. That's I up. didn't, I didn't like him as as Venom, he to me, I think Tom Hardy is more of a hardcore type actor, and uh, to me, Eddie Brock and Tom Hardy just wasn't meshing with me. I, I, I didn't see it. Two, the Venom story needed more. The Venom uh, movie needed more story, needed more backstory of um, of these symbiotes. Basically, you know, what are they? What are their origins? What, you know, where they're from? What's their main? idea of being on earth you know how do they communicate 
there was nothing. Three, um, Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock wasn't portrayed to how I know him in the comics. The comics had him as a little cocky, bitch ass, asshole type. I agree dude. with that one. And yep. he wasn't. You yep. know, he wasn't. Yep. He was just, you know, he was likable. Yeah, yeah. He was basically. almost likable. Yeah. Like. You know what I mean? I just, Eddie Brock being likable? Yeah, and you know, as 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 for Spider Man three, the 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 first set of Spider Man, um, you you kind of get an Spider-Man. idea of what Eddie Brock, who Eddie Brock was. Spider Man three is still the Antichrist. He's, it, it's, it's, okay, I mean, so. Spider Man three was crap, but <laughs> so. I'm just saying, Eddie Brock was this dude that he's doing so well in in reporting that you know you can't talk to him because he's the he's the shit yeah, type yeah. of thing, and he, I wasn't seeing it with this. Eddie Brock, Tom Hardy's character. Four. <laughs> the fighting scene with Venom and Riot, I just didn't like it because you couldn't see what was going on. Okay. It's like the camera was like doing this. <laughs> you like, about to do that to what me. The, what the hell was <laughs> Is he throwing punches? You know, is he, is he like biting him? What, what, so is, what is going on? You're nothing. You don't see like a, like a, a, a wide out angle shot, mm-hmm. you know, just to see what Venom, you know, who's fighting who or who's biting who or who's spitting on who, mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. you don't see shit. Yeah, so I, I just didn't like the, the, the fighting scene. It, it was stupid. Actually give Venom some sort of um, ability. You know, you can see what he, what he, what he can do with his ability and mm-hmm. I, I just didn't see that. Five. Bro, how many times? How many? I'm going through that. Entire movie uh, see, I, I, don't know, I think it was rushed. I, it, it, to me, it was like, okay, here is here is the symbiotes. Okay, it went into Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock became Venom. Eddie Brock trying to uh, fight uh, Riot. Boom! Here you go. Here is Carnage. Boom! That end. I, I I couldn't I couldn't embrace anything with with what the movie was about. You know what the what can be. What would you um, embrace for the next chapter of of, of Venom of a Venom movie? I, I I wasn't attached to anything. Six. The visual effects in some areas of the movie was was okay. I mean, is that the transformation with um, with Venom was fine, mm-hmm. but in terms of the part the porch the the part of the movie where they were fighting on the building and whatever, I, I, I didn't see. It was it was it was lacking. It was lacking. It was lacking. Yeah, it was lacking. Visual effects, and I just I just didn't see. It wasn't a stunning, well done visual effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, for my good for my good geeks, it's like three. Know. One, <laughs> you know, the movie was funny. Two, yeah, it was, it was the action scenes were okay. <laughs> uh, three, the chase scene was uh, was was intense. The, the chase with the bike scene it, it, was, it was it was I really like that scene yeah but the um, way that you just started that it's just like it's not like you taste something nasty so I felt, I felt like you were pushing that one out you know but that's what I think about the my good geek bad geek about um, Venom so I'm gonna start with my good geek I don't have a lot but I will start with them all right I thought that the um, lady that was like in the Asian market when the symbiote took her took over her mm-hmm. and she was like killing those people mm-hmm. I thought that was a really cool scene I liked that and enjoyed that I actually did like the slow burn of Eddie becoming Venom I feel like there have been times where you have origin stories of um, <coughs> characters becoming different characters or characters becoming more of themselves and it's like a one, two, three punch that happens right away. Um, I felt like they took some time from when he became fused with the symbiote to when Venom actually came out of him and like they start even like talking to each other and things of that nature. Mm. Um, I felt like there was some time in between that and I did appreciate that. So um, I'm gonna d- disagree with you on that one. Third one, jump. He don't jump. <laughs> Next thing he said, pussy. I like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and actually, when I saw that, and I want to say there was a couple of F-bombs, I was like, oh, this is rated R. So, you know, at that time, I was like, oh, it's going to go there. And it just never goes. But I guess it's my bad geek, and I'm still talking about good, good geek. So give me a second about that. I'm going to pause that part. <clears throat> so I love that he didn't have a sidekick. 
even though Michelle Williams, I guess, was his sidekick. But I guess if you don't count her, I love that he didn't have a sidekick. Yeah, and and that's it. I, I've got more bad geeks than good geeks. So I'm gonna try not to trample on yours and try to think of other things to say because there were some things I completely agreed with you. Like the first one, Eddie Brock, I thought was supposed to be a dickhead and I actually kind of liked him. And I was like, I'm not supposed to like him. So, you know, I, I come from not the comic book universe of knowing the character. I come from knowing it from like Saturday morning cartoons or whatever. And again, they still portrayed him more of a dickhead in those cartoons than they did in this video. I mean, this movie. So I was kind of confused. So Riz, yeah, number two. Riz Ahmed's character, I, I, I should have looked to see what his, his character's name is, but um, the main bad guy. I thought that they should have just straight up had him as a dislikable character. Because when he was at his worst, he was completely at his worst. Mm. Why do you go out your way to do the, oh, he's trying to be a good thrillamp, I can't even thrilamp say the word. Thrillamp it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Basically, when he was with the kids and trying to say like, oh, you can be whatever you want, yada, 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 and trying to make him likable. Or when he was with um, that doctor that he basically killed, he was like, oh, well, you got a family. You know, do it for them. Say, you know, what happened to the symbiote because of the family. And then you knew he was going to kill her. So I would have been like, no, have him be a dickhead all the way through. The kids come in, he don't have time for that. When he's trying to threaten um, that doctor, like, no, don't do it for you. Do it for the fact that I'm not gonna go after your kids. Mm -hmm. Don't be like, oh, you have kids and you know, but nah, man, just, just make him a dickhead. Eddie Rock meditating? Okay, enough said. Michelle Williams, his ex-fiance. I, I was completely bored with her character. I really felt like they were trying to give it, give Eddie some depth as having her character there. And I felt like she could have just <laughs> be completely ignored. You didn't have to have her. And then you had the, the, the weird chemistry between her and her current boyfriend, fiance, whoever that guy was, mm. um, with Eddie Brock and that whole chemistry of that whole triangle. And I was just like, this is dumb. I, I don't need them to be there. The sidekick, I guess you could say that that was her. So with that being said, I'm just like, nah, you just could have just left that alone. Mm. I felt like that didn't need to, to be- To the left, to the left. Yeah, straight to the to left. To the left, to the okay. left. Finally, with the success of Wolverine, the success of not one, but two Deadpools, all rated R, why in the world are we making Venom, PG thirteen. I don't know why, and Venom why? and Venom is is why? is is one of the most bloody creatures why? in comic book. Thank you. I, I don't know why. Thank you. I mean, honestly, even with everything that you've said and even everything that I've said, I think that half of those stuff could have been solved mm -hmm. if it was a rated R flick. So they could have gone the distance mm -hmm. that they needed to go. Exactly. But because they made it a PG-13 <laughs> and pushed out, sorry, but not sorry, because it just made no sense why you wouldn't make this character under this rating. It makes no sense. I'm good. So that's your whole chapter about Venom, right? I don't know. I, I just there's just so much things about Venom that could have been. It, I could have liked it. Mm -hmm. I think the main focus of the movie was trying to get as quick as possible to Carnage, and uh, uh, you know, and and for the, the the lack of it, I just I, I'm not interested to see a movie with Carnage. Okay, so uh, I, I, so I, I I I'm just clarify for me because mm -hmm. it's not like Carnage was in the movie. He was actually in the end credit. So it wasn't like they were trying to get quick to him. So I don't understand that. Yeah, but that's the thing because Carnage and Venom are like arch enemies. Th that's they, true. They, I get that. It's like everyone is trying to see Carnage. Um, mm -hmm. And I wish they would have got Peter Sadamire to do Carnage instead of Woody Harrison. That I think would have been an interesting take on him, yeah, but that's true. Me. But you know, I, that's just how I think because I'm more thinking of a of a comic book head okay. than anything else. You okay. know, I'm more thinking of there's so much ways you can introduce Carnage, um, probably during the movie. You know, in 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 um, during the movie you probably can 
show some side, side of symbol that well you know carnage is coming oh shit and everybody's trying to figure out who the hell is carnage mm. and at the end you will see some sort of thing that well carnage is freaking badass how he looks and everything okay they could have done that oh yeah they they but undersold they, it at, you know at but, the, most, but yeah. at the same time they, they just showed it. you um what's his name the woody harrison woody harrison mm -hmm. and he just look fucking <laughs> <laughs> and that's why i said stoudemire i think peter stoudemire would have definitely did it better for those who don't know who peter stoudemire is he is the devil in constantine i thought he would wow. have done a really good character job mm. of carnage in that moment exactly so yeah so for me i give carnage to you mean venom i'm <laughs> i'm gonna give venom two out of five 2.5 2.5 I, I i can't give it a three but i can't give it a two i don't think it's a two but it was it was okay mm, yeah it was okay. whatever man okay well guys as you what do you guys know, think yeah tell us let's let us know in the comments what do you guys think as um who would you have liked to have been mm -hmm. you know any of them um any of the 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 castings if not tom hardy mm -hmm. um you know carnage or anyone else yeah. uh let us know how, what you think about it yes and as usual you can uh, visit us and, and um twitter, instagram twitter and, and twitter and twitter as geek by heart that's right and as usual you know we are here as geeks you are here as geeks and we thank you for tuning in to us, watching us. And please leave your comments and everything. Yes. We are here. And we will be back next week for... Halloween.